he could do whatever he wants. But uh, if you're a real Dagestani fighter and I send you the location, you don't show up, you're not a Dagestani <laughs> fighter. All right, man. Let's uh, let's jump right into it. It seems like you gotta gotta go do something. So let's uh, let's. Uh, I was doing away. some uh, uh, yeah. some training with Coach Greg, uh, like mental training. It's all this like the grid and all the stuff on the iPad. So <laughs> and I was look at the time. I'm like, oh shit, I have two in the, two o'clock uh, interview. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, tell me more about that, man. The the mental training that you do with Coach Greg, man. Delve into that if you can. Yeah. So so the training we do is usually like. Uh, getting close to the fight he just puts me through a uh, a lot of like reaction timing speed uh mental stress anything else i could add coach Greg? Overall. yeah we just mental do performance. Me- mental performance overall that's what that's what we work on you know stress exposure, stress exposure and vision. stuff like that because vision training. vision training you know i've been uh I've been fighting for quite a bit long time, so I like to add new stuff into every camp. So I've been working with Coach Greg for uh, going on a year now, so we've been adding all kinds of new stuff. Yeah. How do you yeah, feel I'm, with... I'm focus was mainly, it's mostly energy, but also controlled aggression, making sure that we get to the point of attack where we need to, in the time that we need to, and no wasted movements, no wasted steps. Everything's timed, as well as information intake. How fast we able to intake the information as well as process it, and then make a goal directed movement based off of that information. You got it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it, man. He's breaking it down. I love it. Uh, yeah, man. It's uh, you know, you you mentioned it, man. You've been fighting for a long time. You just said you added this a year ago. You know, what do you what do you think? What what if you added this like five years ago, man? What differences do you see in yourself? What difference it makes to add this type of training? That's what you're saying. Yeah, for yourself, because you've been fighting for oh, so for, long. for myself, like. Uh, Man, I'm I'm just a very competitive person, and uh, uh, I always believe that you can't uh, always have same type of camps. Like you gotta add up something new, and uh, you know I've been fighting for 16 years, and uh, I feel like stuff like this. Uh, I, I don't mind physically getting tired, but uh, me- mentally getting tired it pushes me in a in a different level. So, and I and I love it. All right, um, let's get into uh, your upcoming opponent. Piccolotti. Um, you guys were scheduled to fight last year, you know, and, and then he was he was pulled from that fight. Did you ever get an explanation of why he, he didn't show up? Yeah, we're supposed to fight actually twice. And uh, I heard it was a shoulder injury. He had a sh- shoulder injury, so uh, that's why the fight never happened. And then I know he was supposed to fight Saul Rogers, and he got injured again. That's, that's when I stepped in to fight Saul. But uh, yeah, uh, thank God he's good now. So we're gonna face next week. <laughs> yeah, uh, third luck's the charm, right? Or three times. Third luck, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah, doing. three yeah. times the charm, right? <laughs> um, yeah, let's go, let's talk about that fight that you had. You know, you replaced him against Saul Rogers. Uh, looking back at that performance, you know, what is your assessment of how the fight played out? Because you had some big moments in that fight. Yeah, I mean, it, it, uh. You know, I mean, he laid and play, play, played on me for mm-hmm. three rounds. He, he did a great job of doing that. Uh, obviously, he didn't want to strike with me. Uh, he didn't try to submit me. And, you know, I, I learned a lot from my fight. I learned that I need to go in mainly all my fights in, uh, in not just a fight shape, but in a good wrestling shape. Uh, mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I try to do my best to finish that guy. But, uh, I, I mean... Heads off to him. You know, he beat me. I learned from there, from that. I mean, there's no other thing I could do. Like, I, I can't go back and change that. Uh, to me, uh, you know, it just made me that much of a better of a fighter. You know, I came back, uh, kind of was frustrated because, you know, he, he, was, he was stronger than what I expected him to be. But the uh, strength don't matter to me. I, I mean, like I, like I said, if I was in a wrestling shake, shape it would have been a it would have been a bad night for him because uh at the end of the day all these 50 fighters when they face me uh i don't know they don't like to strike with me and uh, they go for takedown you know so uh hopefully adam doesn't hug my uh, legs doesn't stay on top of me or whatever i mean if he does that uh we have a little surprise for him 
All right, all right. I like surprises. You know, the your <laughs> opponents probably don't like them, but you know, you know what it is. Um, yeah. That fight was in uh, September. So, how did you spend the rest of uh, 2021? I spent rest of 2021. I literally got back. Uh, I didn't take no weeks, no time off. I uh, man, I start deadlifting because I, I don't like to be uh, controlled like that in a fight. So. Uh, the max I deadlift for this after that fight, I think I got up to like 475. But uh, after this fight, I'm going to start deadlifting more. I mean, uh, you know, I, I uh, went back, started wrestling, working on defending uh, takedowns, just a lot of stuff. You know, I, I think coming off a loss, you always uh, go back there and break down a lot of things. So I never took no time off. Uh, but I'm looking to take maybe two, three days off after this fight. <laughs> all right two three you give yourself a log uh log break that uh yeah yeah just a little break man i don't <laughs> like uh, uh taking that much break because uh once you take that break it puts you in a different mindset and then it just goes i like to be busy you know i have my own school where i teach yeah. so you know i just come back on monday and i go back to uh, grinding just teaching yeah you got your uh your place uh og training center how much of your camp do you spend there and then the other parts, like the percentage-wise with Millennia? Yeah, I mean, I go back and forth. I'm a Millennia in the mornings, and then at nighttime I'm here training. Uh, I, I invite a lot of training partners that, uh, that come uh, uh, train with me, uh, uh, even guys from out of town, even Russian guys, Dagestani guys. Like when, when they come here, uh, they always hit me up and they come train. So uh, we're always training there at nighttime. Do you do you have any like students that 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 you've kind of like raised up into fighters as of late? I do. I, I have uh, this kid named Arnold uh, Joao Jimenez. He's been training with me. Uh, man, it's going maybe. Uh, he's been training with me like 13, 14 years. Wow. So uh, he's he has a f good fight coming up in LFA against uh, their twin brothers. They train at the Kings MMA. They're pretty good guys. So he, he has an upcoming fight in LFA against them. So, uh, and you know, with, with my gym right now, I'm building all the kids. So uh, if they're serious about fighting, I'll, yeah. I'll take care of them. That's great, man. Not many, you know, better mentors out there, you know, coaches yeah. out there than you, right? Um, Piccolotti, what are your thoughts on him and, and his skill set? Uh, the kid is tough. Black belt, good wrestling, trains with a good camp, a.k.a. I know he's going to come prepared. Um, I wish come prepared. Uh, uh, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a great fight. I think uh, uh, they, uh, at first, I think we we're on the prelims and then they bumped us up to the main car. So uh, it, it does, uh, you know, this is, uh, this could be fight of the night. You know, I know he likes to come forward. I uh, like to come forward, even though I'm a black belt, even though this, I, I like to keep the fight standing. Because at the end of the day, the crowd and people that are watching on TV, they like to see exciting knockouts, so that's what I'm going for. Yeah, people that know this matchup, they know that it should be a, a main card fight. You know what I mean? It should not be on the player limbs. I don't know what they were doing with that. I don't understand <laughs> it. But uh, but uh, if you look at him, man, his his only losses in Bellator are to, like, the top guys. You know what I mean? He has four losses. Two of them are to Sidney Outlaw, Benson Henderson. Do you go back and watch those fights? Do you dissect them? I do watch them, but I know he's going to be different. I'm going to be different. Mm -hmm. uh, I did watch his Sydney Allah fight. Uh, and, you know, just that, that fight was just a pure uh, uh, wrestling, pure wrestling, pure uh, scrambling. And they were both getting the best out of each other. So uh, I did watch his Ben Henderson fight. He started pretty, pretty uh, fast. And then he kind of ended slow. So uh, I watched all his fights. I'm pretty sure he's watching my fights. Uh, I like to study him. I mean, that's that's what I'm going to face in the cage. So, yeah, obviously, of course, I'm always going to study him. How do you expect to take out Piccolotti? It seems like you're, you you don't want him to hump your legs or, or you know, attack your legs. I mean, he, could, legs, he can hump my legs all he wants. He's just good luck yeah. taking me down. <laughs> I mean, he's going to watch the Sao fight and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do the same thing, but good luck, brother. Good luck. I know he trains with Dagestanis. I'm training with Americans. I'm training with Division One wrestlers that came and it's it. The way I'm gonna explain it is this: when someone is helping me during my camp, I literally look him in the eyes and I tell him, "Fuck me up, mm -hmm. destroy me." You're a good wrestler. Let's see if you could slam me. Let's see if you could take me down because 
I love that feeling. You know, I'm, I, uh, I enjoy that. Even being 36 years old, I still enjoy it. So uh, people around me are the ones that push me to the next level. So, uh, I mean, good luck taking me down. Good luck. Uh, I saw a few interviews. He said that he's willing to take the fight anywhere he wants. And go ahead. I mean, you're facing a, a vet that's been everywhere in the game, uh, fought whoever, who it is. And, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to being his ass. All right. Um, it looks like, you know, you and him are right at the edge of the, the top 10. Do you see this as an opportunity that you get this win, you get this victory, that you could crack that ranking and, and kind ah, of get fuck that ranking, guys? brother. You don't care? Nah, I, don't, I don't look at that ranking. <laughs> Whoever's in charge of the ranking, they're... <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm not going to say a lot of bad things, but yeah, I, I don't look at the ranking. I mean, this is what MMA is about. Like, I mean, mm. fight game right now is not about winning by decisions. It's not. It's like, if you really want to make a name for yourself, you got to go for finish. You got to be exciting. So wh like, the ranking doesn't matter to me. I'm looking at like the winner of this fight is getting closer to the title. That's how I'm mm. looking at it. Uh, they put me in the top 10, I give less shit about it. I mean, I see some of the guys' name on there, like Usman, uh, Mamedov. I mean, please, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, why would you put them in the ranking? Like, like why? Because they're related to Habib? To mm. me, that's bullshit, brother. I've been doing this way too long. I know how that politic works. I, I know how all that works, and... I try my best to fight Usman, but he's scared. Obviously, they're trying to build him. I try to fight Mamedov. He's, I don't know what's wrong with him, but the rankings to me, especially in Bellator, don't matter. Oh, so you reached out to Bellator and told them that you wanted to face Usman. I called out Usman. Mm -hmm. I reached out to Bellator. I did a few interviews calling him out. Mm -hmm. And he said, I need to go fight more fights, more, more wins. Before I, me, yeah. Yeah, be, before I fight him. So uh, he can do whatever he wants. But uh, if you're a real Dagestani fighter and I send you the location, you don't show up, you're not a Dagestani <laughs> fighter. All right. All right. Uh, fair enough. Um, yeah. Uh, one more question. You know, I mean, you mentioned uh, Islam and uh, he just faced off against uh, Benson Henderson. Right. What do you think about that performance, man? Benson came through. Man, Benson, look, Benson, look. Great, Benson was fine out of his uh, uh, was fine out of his uh, uh, last fight contract. Mm -hmm. I think I think he did a great job uh, just shutting him down. And yeah, this guy's come from Dagestan. He uh, even though like I'm I was born in Russia. And this I should have, but brother, I think the MMA in the United States is way ahead, and that's what showed because what what did they come to just wrestle us? I mean like. I mean, Ben showed that night that he's he's capable of. I I thought he, he put himself in really bad positions and got out of it, which yeah. which I was sitting right behind Khabib. I don't know if they showed Khabib. Khabib was like this, <laughs> praying to Allah, all that stuff. So uh, it was it was. Uh, I was happy for Ben. Really, mm -hmm. I was really happy for him. Where do you rank him, man? Among like the the goats of the 155 division you know what i mean like he's been he's been doing it for a while he's you know wec days he was a champ ufc now he's mm -hmm. in bellator you don't know where he's going now but where would you put him i put him up there right up there i i, I wanted to find one point because he's managed by the same management company uh, as i am but uh i put him everywhere bro i've seen some crazy fights of him i'm a big fan of ben henderson i really hope uh bellator resigns him I really hope he stays there, and I really hope I fight him one day. <laughs> yeah, that but would be I, a I great. That would be great. I respect the guy. I'm a big fan of him, and uh, w, like you said, WC days. I was watching him. I've been to a lot of his fights, and uh, just yeah, I think he's a great fighter. He should be top ten, like all time mm -hmm. fighter. Hey, that would be great, man. If you you go in there and get this win, Bellator resigns Benson, line them up, you and him, man. Yep, that's the, yep. that's a main I, event I'll, right there. I'll be, I'll be really happy. All right, uh, Georgie, thank you, man. I appreciate the time. And uh, yeah, man, good luck on the fight and the rest of the camp. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for having me.